The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, ninth chapter, text number 29 through 32, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December 21st, 1966, in New York. Samoham Sabhubhuteshu Lame Desha Sinapriya Ji Bhajanti Tu Maang Bhaktya Maite Desu Chapaham The Lord says that I am, although I am equal to everyone, the God is nobody's enemy and nobody's special friend. Just like the king, the government, nobody's enemy, nobody's friend. Act as you act, so you get result. Similarly, for common man, there is no uh, special favor for from God. Jesu bhajanti maang bhakta. Jesu, this too means but. Here is a word, but. But means, uh, just like we sometimes say, that I am such and such, but. But means there is something special. Uh, so this word is used here. Tu, tu means but. What is that but? Jesu bhajanti maang kritta. Anyone who is engaged in devotional service, of me. Uh, so for him I have got special attention. Bhajanti, Je Bhajanti Tumang Bhaktya, Maite Tesu Chapi Ahm. As he is always constantly engaged in my service, similarly I am also engaged always in his service. The Lord says. Here, <coughs> one uh, a passage is quoted by a great commentator, uh, Baladev Vidyavasan, that Bhagavan Bhakta Bhaktima, uh, just like we become devoted, similarly God also becomes devoted to us. Uh, don't think that one side is devotion. No. That's like love is never one-sided. Ah, love is reciprocation. Reciprocation. Similarly, although God is great, ah, He becomes a devotee of the uh, devotee. Ah. He takes pleasure in that way. It is clearly stated that I also ah, try to uh, devote myself for His service. As we take pleasure in serving God, similarly, God also takes pleasure by serving the devote. Uh, that is the secret. <coughs> now this rope we have already discussed last the next rope is Apite Sudrachara Bhadate Mama Nanafa Sadhureva Samantabha Samak Bhavasitahisa. So now, somebody may say that if a devotee is engaged in the service of the Lord, is that our light, but if his uh, behavior is not up to the standard, then what happens to him? Of course, a devotee is naturally developed developing the six, uh, twenty-six good qualities, but even if he does not develop those qualities, of course that very quality that he is a devotee of Krishna, that is sufficient. But still, if somebody is not up to the point, but he is uh, unflinching, uh, not moving, is perfect devotee of Krishna. Then Lord Krishna says, Apite Sudurachara. Apite Sudurachara. Gurachara means 
His conduct is not good. And Sudurachara means is still farther. Uh. So, apite Sudurachara, bhagati maam anannabhak. Anannabhak means without deviating his attention to any other demigod or any other business, if one is simply seven percent engaged in my service, but his character, his um, general activities are not so to the point, is still uh, the Lord says, Sadhu Reva Samantapta. Sadhu means uh, um, a pious man uh, or a religious man. Uh, or sadhu means the honest man and all good qualities. Is still, although he is found that uh, he is not to be standard, that is the only qualification is that he is acting in Krishna consciousness sincerely. Uh, uh, it may be, suppose I have got some bad character from the beginning of my life, but I have understood that Krishna consciousness is very nice, I shall take to it. So I am trying trying my best, but at the same time, because I am habituated to something, I cannot uh, give it up. Uh, although I know that uh, this my habit is not good, but still, uh, habit is the second nature, I cannot give it up. The Lord Krishna recommends that is still He is good. Uh, uh, there is no uh, question that He is not a sadhu, or He is not an honest, He is not a religious person. The simple one qualification that he is Krishna conscious and is acting sincerely, but failing sometimes, but still he is written as sadhu. Sadhu means honest, religious, pious. Sadhu reva samantabha. And one may say that, uh, yes, because he is devotee of God, devotee of Krishna, we may call him sadhu, but not sent person. Now Krishna says, no, sent person sadhu, in spite of his that bad character. He sent person sadhu. So this is the recommendation. Why, why is Krishna stressing on this point that whatever he may be, still he is honest, he is sadhu, he is religious, he is pious. Why? That is to be understood in the next <laughs> So the Sudrachara, Sudrachara means that uh, according to time, according to circumstances, according to uh, so many that are influences, just like uh, I have come to your country, uh, so, so far uh, with its regulation and rules and a concern, uh, and in the beginning, of course, we do not find such opportunities to strictly follow. But it's still, we should not uh, give so much attention for the uh, regulation or uh, strict rules and regulations, but we must see how much a person is advancing Krishna consciousness. That we have to see. And if we go on criticizing everyone, oh, you are not doing this, you are not doing this, you are doing this, so many things. Uh, according to uh, uh, the daily culture, there may be so many things, but we are not concerned. As far as possible, people should be given chance uh, to develop Krishna culture. Uh, uh, Rupa Goswami, one of the big acharyas, he says, jena dena prakarena mana krishna nivesa. The first business is Somehow or other, people should be Krishna conscious. So far, rules and regulations are concerned. Uh, uh, if one takes to that line of activities, Krishna consciousness, then all things, all regulation will follow, just like a Servant follows a master. Uh, if the master starts, the servant follows. Similarly, these things, rules and regulations, uh, that will follow automatically. Uh, and the next law, and the, and the Lord uh, says, Hittam Bhavati Bhavati 
because he has taken to that Krishna consciousness, very soon he will be perfect quiet man. This process will help you. Don't uh, be too much anxious, though I am not in such a way, I am not in such a way. Whatever way you may be, you just take to this Krishna consciousness. Very easy thing. If you take this Krishna consciousness, uh, chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, very sincerely and regularly, as far as possible, by following the rules and regulations, this Krishna consciousness will help you to become a perfect and pious man very soon. Kipra, Kipra man very soon. Just like uh, in the material world, suppose if you want to sit on the bench of a high court judge, oh, we'll have to acquire so many qualifications. You have to be a very big lawyer, and government must recognize that you are a good lawyer, then there will be so many recommendations by the bar association, by the lawyers, then you can be recommended. But here the process is, yes, uh, that anyway you sit down on the high court judge. Then all education will come. Don't you see how nice it is? Uh, uh, anyway, if, if somebody takes to Krishna consciousness, naturally and generally it will be found that he is becoming gradually the perfect past man, perfect honest man, many people. Kiprang bhavati dharmatma sasat shanti nirachati. Sasachanti, because he will relish, he will relish this Krishna consciousness so nicely that he will give up all nonsense automatically. So don't like it. Don't like it. Yeah. This is the problem. He will give up automatically. Parang drishtyani vartate. Parang drishtyani The whole world is after sense gratification. But a Krishna conscious person, uh-huh. Just uh, very soon he will find that all this nonsense, oh, there is no happiness. He will be it. He will it. It is so nice. Somewhere or other, if you take the Krishna consciousness, uh, your uh, I mean, reluctance for sense gratification will automatically. You have got to train yourself that how to stop my sense gratification. If you simply go on chanting Hare Krishna sincerely, uh, and what is that process? Chanting and hearing. Uh, when you chant is here, and you'll enjoy, and you'll enjoy so nicely that you'll give up all that is not wanted in the advancement of his spiritual life. Uh, Kipra, this is recommendation by Krishna himself. Uh, not that I am advertising because I am preaching as Krishna consciousness. Therefore, I am advertising, advertising the candidate may take it. But Krishna himself says, Kittam Bhodi Dharmatma, Sasachanti Nirachati. Shanti means he, uh, very soon, he attains that perfect eternal happiness. <coughs> perfect peaceful uh, life. Eternal life, blissful life, is very soon at the end. Why? So, on the Pratijani, Pratijani, my dear Rajo, you can declare this to the world. You declare. Why Krishna is not declaring? Krishna is declaring to his devotee. Because Krishna has a promise that I shall protect my devotee. If, it, if, if a promise is there <coughs> by the devotee, that cannot be violated. Krishna can, because he is God, he can violate his own promise. Because he is, he is a, a supreme. But he wants to <coughs> protect his devotee. Therefore, he uh, tries uh, to uh, give the declaration to his devotee that it will be protected. <coughs> I'll give you an example how Krishna sometimes breaks his promise. It's a very nice story. 
Krishna, when he joined Arjun, he uh, promised from his own side that because the fight is between your brother, so it is not my duty, because both of the, you are my relatives, so it is not my duty to join one party and not to join another. But uh, because uh, I have divided myself, myself one side and uh, other side my soldiers, but Gurjaman has um, decided to take my soldiers, not me. So I shall join it. But I shall not fight. I shall not fight. I may take some uh, work with my sister. So, uh, as you know, fight, whatever work you like, you can take. So he said, all right, I shall drive your chariot. <coughs> so Krishna's promise was that he will not fight. But at the time, when Arjun was perplexed while fighting with Bhishma, Bhishma was the greatest fighter, although he was a very old man, <coughs> Duryodhan, uh, I mean, incited him that because the other side are your very pet grandsons, you are not fighting fully. Uh, that was the complaint of Duryodhan. So, in order to encourage, encourage him, uh, uh, Duryodhan, Bhishma, say to Duryodhan, all right, tomorrow I shall finish all these five brothers. Tomorrow I shall finish. And I have got now special uh, arrows for killing these five uh, Siddhartha's brothers. So Duryodhan was very intelligent. He told, all right, uh, please keep these five arrows with me for the night. I shall deliver you tomorrow in the morning. Oh, no, to check. And Krishna, understood Krishna is, everything knows, past, present, future, Krishna, uh, knew it that Krishna has now promised he will keep. So he asked uh, Arjuna, this is also policy, that he go to our Dujyadhan. If you remember that Dujyadhan, Dujyadhan is elderly than Arjuna that he, he would uh, uh, keep uh, uh, some promise uh, which he has offered to you. Uh, whenever you want something, I shall give you. Then this is the time you can go. And what is that? Now he has got five arrows for killing you. He should take and come to me. So after five, they were friends. So uh, Arjun went to the camp of Dujyadhan and was well received. Well, Arjun, come on, what do you want? Come on, sit down. Do you want anything from me? Uh, if you want, I can stop this fight, I can return it. Uh, Arjun said, no, I am not come to you for begging my kingdom. Fighting will go, but I want. You promise something, yes, I know, I will offer you. What do you want? Now I want those five arrows. I want to give you. Uh, and and this information was uh, carried to, uh, I mean to say, Bhishma. Uh, Bhishma knew that Krishna is very cunning also. He will save his devotee. Uh, so he has done this. All life, in spite of Krishna, uh, he has broken my promise. And tomorrow I shall see, if Krishna does not break his promise, then his friend will be killed. I will fight in such a way. So, he was fighting in such a way that Arjuna become almost uh, dead. Then at that time, <coughs> Krishna, uh, the, the chariot was torn into pieces, and Arjuna fell down. And then Krishna took up one of the wheels of the chariot and uh, came, came before. Now, Vishma, he stopped this fighting, otherwise I will kill you. Krishna at once uh, gave us his arrow. And he offered all right, kill me. <coughs> the thing is that uh, because Bhishma promised that I shall uh, kill Arjuna tomorrow, and uh, Krishna also promised not to fight, just to save these two devotees, uh, Arjuna and Bhishma. Bhishma was also great devotees. Just to show him that I am breaking my promise. Please stop. Come back. You want it. That either I shall break my promise or I shall kill uh, Arjuna. <coughs> so better see that I have broken my promise. Uh, 
in this way, sometimes part devotee, he sometimes gets his own promise. So here Krishna says, Kondya Pradijami, you promise, so I shall protect your promise. And what is that? Name Bhakta Pranasati, anyone who has taken to Krishna's consciousness, he will be never destroyed. He will never be destroyed. Name Bhakta Pranasati. What is that destruction? The destruction is, of course, a living entity is never destroyed so far as constitution is concerned. Nahannata Hannavana, this destruction of this body is not a destruction. The real destruction is that we, when we lose our spiritual consciousness, we lose our identity, that is destruction. That is destruction that are now, uh, in our material conception of life, we are practically destroyed. Uh, because, destroyed in this way, because as spiritual being, I have got my eternal life, I have got my blissful life, I have got my knowledge, full knowledge, but here I am living in a wretched condition that my life is not eternal, I am not blissful, and I am not in full knowledge. So don't you think that we are already destroyed? We are thinking that I am very much advancing in civilization. But unless you revive your original life of eternity and full knowledge and bliss, you should know that you are not advancing, you are being defeated by the illusory energy. This is destruction. Destruction of my real life is material. Here Krishna says, Kontya Pratijani, uh, please declare in the world <coughs> that anyone who has taken to this Krishna consciousness will never be destroyed. <coughs> He'll never go back again to that material life of uh, sense gratification and uh, pull up this uh, material existence, pull up this He'll be taken. He'll be taken off as soon or later, as he has taken to this Krishna consciousness, he will be never uh, uh, destroyed. Our destruction, you always remember, our destruction means material ex existence is the destruction of our spiritual existence. Because the destra, destra does not mean that as spiritual being I will be nowhere. No. This is my position, nowhere. I do not know. Uh, just like I am being kicked like a football. Uh, I, have, I have no place. Uh, that we have seen football play. The football has no play. As soon as come somebody is fit, I eat it. Uh, he goes to another body, eat it. He is another body, kicking. His only situation is being kicked. Football. So we are just like football. We are being, being kicked. Uh, now I am American. Uh, next time I shall be kicked up to China. Uh, maybe. And from China I will kick that to India. And from India I will kick that to Burma, I will kick that to another world. This is going on. We do not know. How we are being kicked up like a football from one place to another, one place to another. Uh, this is all false notion. Uh, how long I shall remain here? Uh, therefore, <coughs> this is the only way Krishna concept to become perfect. Uh, perfection means to attain uh, spiritual life, eternity, blissful, and full of knowledge. Uh, that is waiting us. Uh, that is waiting us. Why should we refuse it? Uh, it is not a theory. Uh, don't think that Bhagavad Gita is, uh, is something imaginary thing. No. People are taking to it, they are practice, they have attained success, it is coming on. Uh, since a very, very long time, it was first advised to the sun god, then after many, many millions of years, again, five thousand years before, it was advised to Arjuna. So it is coming down, it is accepted by all great archages of India, and it is being followed, it is still being followed. So, thank you. <coughs> Don't be distraught. Uh, take to Krishna consciousness, and you will be saved. He is safe from the destruction in the material. Suppose if I am thrown into the 
ocean. That is practically my destruction. I may be very good swimmer, but that is no hope. Uh, that is no hope of my life. Any moment I can go down into the depth of the ocean. Uh, similarly, we are uh, struggling very hard in the material uh, ocean of existence. Uh, simply struggling, just like a man is trying to save himself in the Atlantic Ocean. Similarly, we are also trying here. Yeah. And uh, this is not the process of, of uh, getting yourself from the um, uh, the struggle for existence of ocean. The thing is, one must get you out from the ocean. Esāmaham samudhatya mittu samasāru sāvana. So Krishna promises, you will find in the later tenth chapter, that those who are in Krishna consciousness, uh, I promise, I shall take him from the ocean of birth and death. <coughs> Now, <coughs> uh, somebody may inquire, now to become a Krishna conscious person, uh, is there any qualification required? Uh, Bhagavad Gita was spoken by Lord Krishna, he, was, um, he appeared to be a Hindu, and he was spoken in India, and uh, all the Acharyas, they are very learned men, they have adopted. And how we can get to this Krishna consciousness? Uh, I am not, uh, I do not belong to uh, such particular creed or such particular country. Uh, now Krishna says, no. That is not disqualification. Mahipata Vrapasitta Jeevishu Papajuna. Papajuna, of course, according to Vedic literature, there are uh, hmm. mentions of uh, uh, Papa Joni. Joni means species. Papa Joni. Uh, just like it is mentioned here. Sriya, Sudra, Sriya, Vaishya, Satha, Sudra, Sriya, Jamdi, Paramdhati. Even uh, the Sriya, even Omen, uh, they are also uh, classified among the Papa Joni. Papa Joni means those who have got uh, uh, little uh, facility for advancing themselves in spiritual life. Uh, so it is particularly mentioned here, Sriya, the omen class, Sudra, uh, Sudra means the uh, liberal class, and uh, uh, the Vaisha, mercantile class. Uh, or less than that, uh, because in India, according to the caste system of Varnasam Dharma, the Brahmin and Kshatriyas are considered to be the highest in the society. And uh, the Vaisha a little less than, and in Sudra they are not taken into account. Uh, uh, and uh, similarly, woman class, they are taken as Sudra. Sudra. It's like the thread ceremony is given to the Brahman, Kshatri, Vaisha. But there is no thread ceremony for the woman class. Uh, although the woman is born in the Brahmin family, she has now that reformation. Uh, because uh, uh, Sriya, the woman class has taken less intelligence, they should be given protection, uh, but uh, uh, they cannot be educated. But here in the Bhagavad Gita, he surpasses all these uh, formalities. Uh, Lord Krishna surpasses all these formalities. He is giving facility to everyone. Never mind what is. Uh, in the social structure, you may consider that woman is less intelligent, a sudra and um, less purified. But in spiritual consciousness, there is no such bar. Here yeah, Krishna accepts everything. Uh, either you become woman, or you are sudra, or a vaisya, or whatever you may, that doesn't matter. If you simply take to Krishna consciousness, the Lord is there, He will give you all protection. All protection and gradually he will help you. Uh, <coughs> you are already one who is in the Krishna consciousness platform, is already in the liberated platform. Simply keep from it, will, it will take some time only, keep from, but very soon he will be all that. So, this is the purpose of uh, Lord Krishna. 
this is the facility of Krishna consciousness. So we should take this advantage of being Krishna conscious. Never mind what you are, and that will help us in attaining the perfection of life. Pāṅhi pārta vipāsitta jīpi supāta jana, this is very clearly declared here. Never mind what he has, he is or she is. Just take to this process of Krishna consciousness and your progress and enhances our spiritual life is guaranteed. Thank you. Thank you.